This is sort of part two of my uh, little uh, review and box opening of the uh, Go Zero Yeti 400. Uh, my uh, previous thumbnail basically said uh, with the uh, Go Zero, basically you need to do is to add panels. And that is correct if you use Go Zero uh, panels. Go Zero has its own type of panels and they're specifically made for this this input here. So they are proprietary. So I'm not going to be using Go Zero panels. So I'm not going to be using proprietary. So I've had to get some adapters. Some from Go Zero here. Uh, this would allow me to put the positive and negative from a uh, any one of, I don't know, maybe 100 or 200 manufacturers of uh, panels and use the uh, MC40 the, uh, to uh, M88 adapter here. This input is built specifically for the Go Zero, and I think it's also built for the uh, the 1250. And basically, this would allow me to just plug in a a panel, probably drill through the ceiling uh, or drill through the roof of a, of the vehicle, come down to the Go Zero, and plug this in. And then, of, of course, I would have to mount the panel someplace, uh, probably on top for a van. And then I would just simply just uh, you know thread it down through the frame, uh, through a hole I'm going to have to bore, and voila, the positive and negative go in here, and we're connected to the panel. Now, at the panel level, we did have some extras too. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. At the panel areas, we've got the, uh, the uh, I think this is 20 foot, we've got 20 foot of uh, cable for, for panels. Uh, so the, this, these are pretty standard for uh, set up on uh, of the vast majority of, uh, of, of solar panels out in the market. I, I was going to pick hook, hook up two, so I'm thinking about two 120s, 140s, 150s, maybe two 200s, but in any case, I probably have to go parallel, and I, I'll explain that later or we can, uh, when we actually begin implementation. And I got these Renogy, but it'll fit other vendors, and these are a uh, Male, male to female, female, female to male, etc. Positive and negatives, so I can hook a couple of positives in from two, uh, from two uh, panels, a couple of negatives in, and then run those positive and negatives down with my long cables into the, uh, into the uh, body of the vehicle or into your house. All of these are, are, are can fit into your house fine. Uh, I, I bought two of these. I'm always. Anytime I buy something that's proprietary to a manufacturer like Go Zero, I'll always buy two. In addition here, you can take this, which are battery cables in effect. Basically, it's to connect in here in a positive and negative. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's a little bit dark on this side. Let me go to the other side. The positive and negative here on either side or both sides. And I will be able to link multiple batteries on to increase my watt storage. I would expect at least a couple of additional batteries. Uh, and uh, that would allow me more storage. So I can just leave it up and, and pound in some extra power for, a, for long cold nights or lots of TV watching or laptop charging. In any case, uh, these are the bits and pieces that are not part of the instant part of the recipe of the Go Zero. If you're going to use third party vendors other than Go Zero, you're gonna use Go Zero, just buy one of their uh, panels and you just plug it in here. You probably wanna get an extension cable but you wanna put it somewhere remote to the uh, generator. Uh, so that you, you've gotta take that in consideration. By the way, I have had this plugged up for the entire time and uh, as you can see right now, it is fully powered. I'm putting it on a, I guess you call it shore power. Basically, I'm plugging it into my outlet to make sure I keep it charged so uh, I can keep it uh, functioning. Because if you let this thing go down too long for an extended period of time, then you're not going to uh, get uh, good performance out of it and potentially a failure. So that's basically the extra uh, pieces of the recipe if you're going to use solar uh, some of the larger solar panels, some of the third-party solar panels with the Go Zero. Uh, 
I ordered, uh, like I said, I ordered two of these to add a couple of extra batteries. I ordered, actually ordered four of those, uh, of those cables. Uh, two more are coming in case I decide I'm going to add another uh, Gold Zero. Yeti 400 or the, the 1250. Who knows? You never know. And it's better to have it on hand. I'm really impatient when I want to do something and I need something ordered. So, it, to get around that, I ordered a little bit more than I need. And uh, hopefully, uh, that means that I'll have a load and go situation when I begin to mount the panels on the yet to be purchased uh, RV or vehicle. Alright, that's all I've got to say about this right now. Uh, there'll be a uh, more videos about this off and on. Uh, it's probably be a little lag here because I'm not going to be buying it that soon. So you'll see me falling back to my old my old favorites, metal detecting, survival equipment, and just general alternative lifestyle equipment. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day.